Hi, my name is Connor Phelan from PowerPoint Engineering. Just popping up a quick video here on how to download into your Packard Tree software from your SeaWorld Apollo Path Tester. When you download the software from the SeaWorld website, it'll ask you for an activation code, okay? So whether you buy a yearly or an Infinity license, you will, you will put in that activation code off the back of the pack, okay? And it'll activate your license. On your desktop, then, you would have a icon, a SeaWorld Packard Tree icon. When you click on that, you will see it opening up and it'll look for a username and a password, okay? The username and password is always admin and there is no password, so just click okay on that screen. Okay, so when you open up your software, this is what you see. The first thing you're gonna have to do is select path testing down here and select your database. So up here in the top left, you will have to select the database. Click new database, type in what you want to call your database and then press save. Okay, once you press save, that's the database created and that's where all your test results will go into. I already have mine here preset, okay, so that's fine. Um, select instruments down the bottom left, add test instrument, select your instrument type, on this occasion mine's an Apollo 500 and my, my serial number which is on the back of your path tester, mine is 43F-0510. Type that in and click OK. Make sure you put in the dash. So to download, you just select data transfer and download from tester. Okay, so we're selecting, we're setting up the software to receive the file basically from our path tester. This error will come up occasionally. Unable to detect an available comms port, just click OK. We get this browse box. Okay, so at this stage, we need to go to the path tester itself and send the file to your PC and then we need to open it within this browse box, okay? So, so I have an Apollo 500. I'm just gonna turn it on here now. Make sure you have it connected with your USB PC cable, this black cable here that goes into the back and then into your, into your PC tower or desktop. Because it's an external device, you might get a couple of windows popping up just when you turn it on, okay? Just X out of them. Okay, so press your three blue screens here over F4 and then go to number five for download. A couple of options in here, okay? You can send all the information on the path tester or you can go into the filter over F2 and you can refine it basically by site, location, client or your test period, say the time frame that you were testing, okay? So you could send one week's worth if, if, you, if, you, if you need to do so. Uh, on this occasion, I'm going to select, select or send all. Okay, so just make sure these parameters are set correct. So we're sending two pack or three using a USB PC cable. Press all. Once that's gone to 100%, that's the file sent from the path tester to our PC. And once again, you get a couple of windows opening up on your screen. Just X out of them, okay? Okay, so now we need to go in and find that file that we sent from the path tester to the software. Okay, so press the browse button and go down along the left hand side and look for your Apollo where it's plugged in as an external device. Okay, usually in, in the E drive, okay? Click that, double click your file and double click it again. And then press OK. And it will start to process the tests, okay? On this occasion, I have a couple of duplicates just from doing a few courses and stuff like that. There might be a few duplicates in it, but normally this wouldn't be the case. We always try to avoid duplicates when, when using passive ID numbers. So on this occasion, I'm gonna select the note wall. As you can see then, up on the top left here, we have our sites. If I click the little plus, we have our locations within them sites. And if I click on the location, it'll give me all my tests and all my results, okay? Whether they passed or failed. To get a report out of this software, we need to click reports on the bottom left. And I kind of always use this one here as concise latest test results, okay? It's probably the best one there to use for, for storing your results, and it's, it's detail. It gives us all the details that we need, basically. Um, there's various other types there that we can use, like checklists for checking for stuff that's out of date, but for on this occasion, I'm just gonna use this one here, okay? So it's the seventh one in from the top left, concise latest test results, double click on that. And then select your site. So. If you want to add clients, you can do so on the homepage, but on this occasion, I'm just going to use site. So select the Maldron Hotel, 
and always make sure your dates are in the catchment area of when you test it okay so i'm going to go from the first of, of the first 21 to today's date so select the drop down hit today and then click okay and it'll generate a report okay so the report comes up zoom in a little bit there you can see very detailed report you can add your own company logo on top if you wish so um, you can see our site was the Maldron Hotel, location was Tower Suite 2 was the location within the Maldron. All our ID numbers on the left and all our descriptions of the appliances that we tested are here. Who used the machine, the machine that was used and then the date of test, the retest period or frequency and the next test due date and whether it passed or failed. Okay? Now this can be saved then as a PDF report by clicking the third one in from the top right, little floppy disk there, save as and change your save as type from a preview file to a PDF document. That's your report done. Okay, so you can copy and paste that into an email or save it wherever you wish. So that's basically it. Um, just a bit of a run through on it. Any kind of questions you have, you can you can always contact me here in PowerPoint Engineering. Um, we also stock a vast range of SeaWorld products, labels, accessories, all that kind of stuff. So give us a call if you need anything. Thank you.